So here I am shooting the kel Sub 2000, and I've put a bunch of M-Carbo parts on this thing. I put a rubber buffer tube cover, a metal takedown lever, uh, an extended magazine release, and I forget what else, but the one thing I still have problem with when I shoot this thing is the fact that you literally have to smash the recoil tube or the buffer tube underneath your cheekbone to be able to see what you're doing. I was still just shooting for fun, but I still haven't quite decided if I really like this thing or not. Take note of how comfortable that buffer tube looks as it rests between my nose and my cheekbone. Well, that was just a little bit of a jaunt with my kel Sub-2000. I did a bunch of work with some M-Carbo parts, uh, the takedown lever, the uh, magazine release, has the rubber bolt buffer. Um, I forget what else I put in there. I will say that thing really needs some taller sights. The front sight that's on that makes you have to get your cheek so far down that it's just sitting on that tube. And even with the rubber buffer on there, it really doesn't do anything for your cheek. So... I'm going to have to look at replacing the sights on that, put some taller ones on it, or maybe put a red dot or something on it. Just one of those annoying things that um, even though it has rails on it, you have to take the stuff off when you fold a gun up. So not a big deal to get a quick release red dot. I'll probably do that. Just get a cheap $30 one with a quick release lever. Try it out. But thanks for watching Cranky Gun Reviews. It's been a beautiful day. I have a ton of videos today that I'll be posting all over the place with my uh, Ruger Americans, my Beretta. 22 conversion kit, um, my new Smith & Wesson Model 15 uh, revolver, my Charter Arms undercover revolver, uh, and my LCP2. I finally found some uh, Winchester ammo that that thing likes. So thanks for watching. Keep tuned in for other videos that will be coming up soon. Have a great day. God bless America. Thanks for watching Cranky Gun Reviews.